Storm 2.3 by Min and the Warm Roms team. Um, a lot of you guys might know him from the Evo, from the original Evo 4G. I think he also did some uh, the Desire as well as a, a whole bunch of other phones. But um, this is his offering for the Evo 3D. Now, I know a lot of people might already be on Cyanogen Mod and stuff, and trust me, I'm a huge fan of Aesop ROMs in general over Sense ROMs, but uh, right now Evo Signage Mod 7 for the Evo 3D is a little unstable, so I'm just waiting for them to uh, for them to clear up the kinks, and I'm sure they will really soon. Um, they're pretty uh, good with that kind of stuff, but um, yeah. So this is the ROM I've been rocking some form of for the past say a couple weeks maybe so I'm assuming this is probably the longest I've actually stayed with one ROM even though I've flashed like my phone like hundreds of times since um, now Min hasn't actually released the ROM yet it's uh it's on SVN though so he does like a whole like daily revisions all the time so as long as you SVN into their group their code.google page or whatever um, which is how I was doing it and then you just kind of create your own flashable zips but that's uh, and I'll actually make a tutorial for that later but let's get into the ROM as you can see it has a it's really highly customized the only other thing I flashed on here was a uh, a mod for the transparent notification bar at the top for by um, a uh, Roots Wiki member named Vanessa M I believe and um, yeah this ROM is has to be my favorite sense ROM that I've ever rocked on this phone ever. And you know, I say that every time I freaking do a ROM review. Uh, that's norm normally because of the fact that you know whatever ROM I'm rocking right th at that point, for the most part, I'm digging. So, but this one is like so stable and it feels so quick and it might not get the craziest quadrant scores. Like I think on quadrant, like the highest I got were 22 to 2500, something like that. Um, it's just, as far as uh, usability is concerned and just everyday use, it's, it's really, really, it's, it feels faster than anything I've ever used on this phone. Even when I was overclocked on some crazy kernels and stuff. And this is just like the stock HTC kernel. Now, as you can see, he has his own sense, uh, he, has, he added uh, warm tweaks to the settings menu. So you can actually change the clock options, you can change the color of the clocks. PM style, you can take the clock out altogether. Um, there's battery options, you can take the battery icon off, blah blah. And signal options, you can take the signal thing out and colors and whatnot. And sense options, whoops, wrong one. Then there's sense options, which uh, I actually really dig. Um, you can make the uh, you can make the app drawer five columns uh, wide rather than just four. You can personalize the right rosy button. So I, for instance, uh, I wanted it to be Google Talk since I use that app kind of a lot. Um, so you, you can rock that. Uh, there also, if you don't have anything in the notification bar, if you swipe down on the notification bar and there's nothing in there, it'll bring you directly to the quick settings, which are also transparent, which is very, very awesome. Um, it's got an unlocked uh, Wi-Fi hotspot or the Sprint hotspot, although I think that when it's unlocked it only actually works on uh, on 3G, but it also does, they also have the uh, the wireless tether app, or the newest one anyway, which is right there, which will work with uh, which will work with 4G as well, so if you want to do it that way um, there's also I mean, there's probably features on here that I completely missed. Oh, and if you go back to the settings, let's see. Under display, uh, there's also, you can adjust your TV out orientation and what format you want it to be and stuff, which is also pretty awesome for you, for those of y'all that uh, hook up your phone to your TV, if you have like a HD TV and or HD 3D TV. Um, so you can do the whole phone mirroring thing and whatnot. But yeah, as you can see, he, uh, added a lot of I think like script tweaks like he added these uh, this uh, hardware acceleration mod thing that was uh, 
Also, there's the CRT on and off animation. Boop. Boop. Pretty awesome. Um, it also does that for when you boot down. He has his own customized uh, boot animation, which I won't actually show you. Plus, I changed mine out anyway. But it's still pretty dope. Um, added the 3D display thing. Like, I think most of the Sense ROMs, the uh, customized Sense ROMs, actually have it though. Um, it's the 3D home screen. So, when you, it uses your accelerometer, you can tilt it. Things like usual. Um, what else? What else did he add to this? Oh, and he also added the. Uh, let that go. Oh yeah, let me turn that off. Good. So on the lock screen, you can actually customize what what it says instead of saying sprint, where it would normally say sprint. You can actually customize that by. And it's actually really easy to get to. If you're using a Root Explorer app, that's probably the easiest way to do it. I use ES file man, file manager or whatever and then you go into make sure it's on root mode you go near systems whoops you go to system customize and then you go to where it says lock carrier.txt whoops not with dolphin browser lock carrier.txt with the yes, no editor you just change it from there Make sure you save it, and whatever you save it to is what's going to show up right there. So that's kind of awesome. Um, what else did he add to this? Uh, different GPS icon. The, actually, the GPS icon a few builds ago was actually completely gone, other than when the GPS was being used, but now it, I guess they brought it back. I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. Like, I usually keep my GPS off unless I really need it anyway, so, I don't know. For those of you that don't think that, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe they'll take it off in another build, or you can take it off yourself if you know how to do that kind of stuff. Um, also, he has a, a wireless ADB, so if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you want to wirelessly ADB into your phone, you could do that through your router. I click on this and it'll tell you whatever it'll basically give you the exact uh, port and IP address to log in through so you can ADB into your phone which is also kind of awesome good times um, yeah I mean it's pretty late so I'm probably gonna go to sleep pretty soon um, I haven't made a video in a while because my laptop decided to crash on me I'm now using Linux array for Linux anyway so yeah if you uh, I definitely suggest you use this ROM if you're uh, still, if you're like me and waiting for uh, CM7 to get a little bit cleaned up first, and a little bit more stable. This is my daily driver, so I can't afford to use like crazy experimental ROMs on this phone. But um, or if you just like Sense ROMs, then and you have an Evo 3D, this is the ROM to freaking rock, dude. Because seriously, this ROM is like I don't know. I haven't rocked anything except this. This is the longest I've used any ROM on this phone. It's just way too quick. And you will see that for yourself as well if you go ahead and flash it. And uh, I won't actually show it to you, but the uh, camera, the video camera, is now capable of shooting uh, uh, 1080i. 1080p uh, only in 3D though for some reason so if you switch it to 3D so yeah, if you're in 3D which you are right there and 1080p video bit rates. there you go so you actually have 1080p freaking video recording in 3D not bad not bad at all um, can't say enough about this uh, about this wrong. Try it. You'll thank me later. Peace.